Visualizing Solid Shapes In this module, you will learn about Visualizing Solid Shapes. Can you visualize 3D shapes on 2D surface? That is on plain paper. Yes, this can be done by drawing the nets of the various 3D figures. Net is a pattern that you can cut and fold to make a model of a solid shape. Let's make a 3D shape out of the cardboard cutouts. To make a cutout, take a cardboard box, cut the edges to lay the box flat. You now have cardboard cutouts for that box. This cardboard cutouts are two-dimensional shapes having width and length, while a box has three-dimensional shapes with width, height and depth. These cutouts are just the net of the box. We can use these cutouts to make a box. Here is a net pattern ready for a box. Trace it and paste it on a thick paper and try to make the box by suitable folding and gluing together. The box is a solid shape. It is a 3D object with the shape of a cuboid. Similarly, you can get a net for a cone by cutting a slit along its slant surface. You can use a cover of an ice cream cone. Let's see some more nets of the 3D shapes. The two-dimensional surface on which we draw an image is usually flat. So when we try drawing a solid shape on a paper or a board, the image appears a little distorted. However, this is just an optical illusion. Let us learn two techniques, oblique sketches and isometric sketches, which will help to draw the 3D shapes on a plain surface. Let us learn about oblique sketches first. Here is a cube. When we look at the cube, not all the lines forming the cube are of equal length. Also, we are unable to see all the faces of the cube. In spite of this illusion, we can make out that the image is of a cube. Such skeletons of solids are called oblique sketches. They can be drawn using a squared paper. The oblique sketches gives the visual representation of a solid-shaped object, but does not represent the actual dimensions. To draw this sketch, we need a squared, lines or dots paper. Initially, practicing to draw on these sheets will later make it easy to sketch them on a plain sheet without the aid of squared lines or dots. Let us attempt to draw an oblique sketch of a 3 into 3 into 3 cube. Each edge is 3 units. The sketch can be drawn using a squared paper. The first step is to draw the front face of the cube. Then, draw the opposite face of the cube. This face should also be of the same size as that of the first square. The number of squares is used as a reference for maintaining the size. Now, join the corresponding corners of the squares and finally, draw the edges that cannot be seen with dotted lines. The sketch is now ready. We can see that the front face and the opposite face of the cube are of the same size. Also, the edges appear equal, though we do not draw them of the same length. The sketch is ready now. Now, let's learn about another technique to draw 3D shapes on plane surface. It is isometric sketches. To draw isometric sketches, we need an isometric sheet. An isometric sheet divides a screen into small equilateral triangles made of dots. Using isometric sheet, the sketches can be drawn with measurements that agree with that of a given solid. Let's try to draw the sketch of a cuboid of length 3 units, breadth 2 units and height 2 units. First, draw a rectangle of length 
3 units and breadth 2 units to show the front face. Then draw 4 parallel line segments, each of length 2 units, starting from the 4 corners of the rectangle. Finally, connect the matching corners with appropriate line segments. The isometric sketch of the cuboid is formed. Observe that the measurements are of the exact size, which is not the case with oblique sketches. Sometimes when we see at combined shapes, some of them may be hidden from your view. But we can visualize the hidden parts. Let's guess the number of cubes in the arrangements. In the first object, both the layers contain 12 cubes each. Hence, in all, it contains 24 cubes. We can also make a cuboid by joining cubes and can also estimate its length, breadth and height. Let's check one example. If two cubes of dimension 2 cm by 2 cm by 2 cm are placed side by side, what would be the dimension of the resulting cuboid? As we can see, when kept side by side, the length is the only measurement which increases. It becomes 2 plus 2 equal to 4 cm, the breadth 2 cm and the height 2 cm. Let's see how an object which is in 3D can be viewed in different ways. One way to view an object is cross-section. You must have seen the shape of a loaf of bread. It is like cuboid with square faces. But when we give a horizontal cut, we see each face of the bread piece is a square. That is called cross-section of the whole bread. A cross-section is the shape we get when cutting straight through an object. In geometry, it is the shape made when a solid is cut through by a plane. For example, the cross-section of the circular cylinder is a circle. The cross-section of a rectangular pyramid is a rectangle. Let us see some more examples of cross-section. Another way is shadow play. Shadow illustrates how three-dimensional objects can be viewed in two dimensions. Have you seen a shadow play? Shadow play has a random assortment of everyday items like a ball, cylindrical pipe, book to flip, spin and rotate around, hovering in the 3D space in front of a canvas. You use the unique shapes of each items like cone, cube, along with proper placement between the torchlight or sunlight and wall to line up the shadows they cast to fill a target outline. Let us revise all that we learned in this module on visualizing solid shapes.